So Josh, you're an expert protein folder. Why don't you show us how it's done? All right. I'm going to show you puzzle number 48, the propeptide puzzle. This is a puzzle that has a lot of sheets in it. And the first thing I have to decide is how I want the sheets to bond together. This one looks like it'd be fairly good here. And there's a gap here that this looks like it could slide nicely into. So I'm going to try going with that. Now if I pull this directly, it's going to mess up the protein. So I'm going to lock this first, and then I can pull it. So I can just pull it into place here. And that looks pretty good. So now the next thing I want to do is create bands so that the sheets come together the way I want them to. So I'm going to create a band between these two sheets and another one here and another one here and finally here and then if I just go to wiggle they should come together pretty nicely and sometimes they don't. So you see this sheet is kind of bent there so I want to stop that, undo it, and create some more bands so that that comes nicely together. There, that seemed to do the trick. So now you can see that we have all four sheets nicely bonded together. And my score has gone up quite a bit. So now if I clear all the bands and tell it to wiggle again, I should get even more points. Now this whole time I've been ignoring the side chains. So it's a good time to, to shake them to get some more points and then wiggle again until my score stops going up. And now, let's see. So this score would be good enough for ninth place. And considering that I haven't spent too long on this, that's not too bad. And at this point, I like to, to nudge it around a little bit and wiggle and get some more points. So now I would have moved up to, to fifth place at this point. So just tweak it a little bit more, wiggle, till it stops going up, and then, then it gets harder from there, but that's the basics of it. Great, thanks a lot.